So if you're thinking about starting a dropshipping business in 2023 or carrying on with an existing dropshipping business in 2023, you're going to want to watch this video in full because I'm going to be going over all the fundamental changes happening in 2023 with this business model. And I'm going to be going over all the latest trends that are happening so you can stay ahead of the competition and crush them because you're going to be using the latest trends and latest strategies in the new year. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Camille Sarno as the Econ King and in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the most important changes happening in the dropshipping business model for 2023. And these are all the changes that I'm taking into consideration for the new year so I can get ahead of most people and generate multiple seven figures. So to give you guys some context on how important what I'm going to be going over really is, I'm going to be going over the recession that is going to happen in 2023 that can be just as bad as the one in 2008 and how some of the biggest leading companies in e-commerce are saying that they're expecting to see less sales and I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I plan on getting around that and still printing lots of revenue and lots of profit. Now for those that are watching this and saying well what's the point of starting dropshipping right now if you're saying that there's going to be less money to be made there is still going to be loads and loads of money to be made and I've gone through so many issues with e-commerce on the way like the global issue we had in 2020 and I still made more money than I've ever made during that time than I have made in good economies. And some other things that I'm going to be going over are things like videos, what type of videos are doing really well now for your ads, the type of ad platforms that I'd recommend, how you should design your website to get ahead of your competitors. I'm going to be going over all the trends you need to know in 2023 to get you guys off to the best start possible. Now, what I've also done if we hit 2000 likes on this video is I'm going to be giving you guys a free cheat sheet with all of my strategies that I plan on doing in 2023. So if we hit 2000 likes on this video, I'll leave it in the pinned comment and in the description below. So the first thing that I want to go over with you guys is the economic side of drop shipping and e-commerce as a business model. And I also want to go over the fundamental flaws that will take place in the new year. And I know a lot of you guys that are watching this are going to say, oh, this is boring. I don't really want to know about this. Now, those that are going to be the best in e-commerce and drop shipping are the ones that are going to follow the economic side of things and the fundamental side. So they know how to transition themselves to fit the market and the economy at that certain time, because consumers behavior really depends on how the economy is. So if I start off by showing you guys this website right here, and the source is from the Economic Bureau from the US, so it's a very trusted site, you guys can see here the personal savings rate in America, the US market right now, is at quite a low. It's almost at an all-time low. So if you look at it, and this shows you from 1960, we're at the lows of the savings. Now, what does that mean for e-commerce and dropshipping? This means that people have got less money to spend online on anything their disposable income has completely shrunk and the reason why this is extremely important is because this will change the way people perceive things when they get advertised products online they're only going to want to buy things that are essentials because they do not want to spend money on things that they can't afford to buy for the sake of buying them the next website that i want to show you is from the federal reserve bank of new york and you guys can see here it shows the total debt to balance showing household debt and non-housing debt so you guys can see we're on an uptrend when it comes to debt again now this is not a good thing because it means people are acquiring more debt than they can afford and this is similar to what happened in 2008 with the mortgage crisis now i'm not saying we're going to have a massive global crash but what i'm saying is this can cause a credit crash in the economy which means people won't have as much money to spend online and the last data point that i want to show you on this topic is about amazon stock sinking 13 percent on week forecast and guidance for the fourth quarter so their stock dropped 13 percent and it's a trillion dollar a company so if you do the math i think it went up to 20 percent at one point that's like 200 300 billion losing from amazon stock in the matter of days because of their guidance for q4 they have basically said in this article that they're expecting to see less money made in the next quarter due to the global economic issues that are happening right now and the reason why i'm showing you this is not to scare you is not to make you think that drop shipping is no good anymore is to make you understand that the economy is changing and people's mindset and psychology 
psychology is going to shift from spending money on any random thing to now spending money on only essentials. So what that means for me as an e-commerce seller and as a drop shipping store is I'm only going to be selling essential things that people need like what I used to do during the first part of the 2020 crisis when everyone was in a lockdown. Because we're going through a stage now in the economy where it's called quantitative easing and that means that less money is being put into the market and it's getting drained out. Now when they turn the money printers back on which I think is going to happen in 2023 mid part or near the end that's when you can start selling any random products again and they're going to make loads of money. So that moves me on to what are going to be the best products and niches for the first part of 2023. And if you look at my screen now, I'm on TikTok. So I think board games and home entertainment is going to do really, really well. And to find great products for next year, you can just simply go onto TikTok and type in board games. I've also typed in home fitness equipment. So these type of niches are going to do really, really well because people are going to cut spending on gym memberships. People are going to spend less money on going to the cinema, going out with their friends. So home entertainment is going to be really good. Home Fitness is going to be really good. So anything that you can bring to mind that you think people might cut spending on or might start to do to keep themselves happy from home, then that's going to be really, really good. And like I just said a minute ago, by going on TikTok and searching for these niches, you're going to find loads of products that people are promoting and you can find all of these products on AliExpress or your dropshipping supplier. And this is going to be the same strategy that I used in the 2020 global crisis. Now that moves me on to the next part, which is the trends that I expect to see in the new year. So if we take a look back at my computer screen, I'm on the TikTok ad library and this website shows you all the top performing ads at the moment and it even shows you the videos or the analytics and this is extremely important because TikTok is the leading indicator in 2022 and 2023. So if you come to this website, I'll put a link to it in the description. You want to put in things like TikTok made me buy it. You might even want to put the name of your product in here and the reason why you're using this website is to see what type of videos are performing the best. You do not want to be using outdated video styles because it won't work well for your ads. So as you guys can see here, I've changed the filters to Canada and the United States and I've changed it to last 30 days and I've searched for TikTok made me buy it. Now what I'd recommend that a lot of people do is just do what I'm doing now. Just go through all of these different videos and watch every single one of them that are a drop shipping product. So I can tell this is a drop shipping product. I can tell this is a drop shipping product. I can tell these are a drop shipping product. So you want to watch the videos because you want to get a general rule of thumb of what I'm making these top performing ads. So you can see once you click the video, it's going to show you all of the analytics and the video, which is extremely powerful. And Facebook doesn't let you do this. And this is why I love this strategy. So you can see it shows you the CTR, it shows you the CVR, it shows you the clicks, the conversions and the remain. Now, why is this so important? Because it shows you what are the juicy parts of the video and what are making people want to stick to the video and convert through the video. So if you take this data and put it into your video, it's just a magic success for you to see success with your video ads. So as you guys can see here, it shows me the video. I'm going to zoom it in for you. And I'm going to play the video and see why this works so well. So you can see here, it says fancy functional smartwatch and they're using this app to make it glow. So it's going to grab your attention because it's very glowy. And you can see it shows you the interface, the unboxing experience, appearance of all mechanical watches. And then it shows you thousands of watch faces. So it shows you what it looks like with the watch faces. And you can see it's done in very fast time frame, showing you at doing dawn and what we call speed ramp. It goes over the features. It's showing you you on a background with a computer in the background, a very clean aspect, point of view. So what you want to do is you really want to break down the video as much as you can. So I've spotted all of the things. So when I make my videos, this might be something that I want to take into consideration. Now, if you look at this CTR, it even shows you at what time of the video is the most CTR happening. So the majority of the CTR is happening at the end of the video. So why is it happening at the end of the video? You might want to skip the video to the end to see why is that causing the most CTR. You might want to skip to the part the video where you can see high CTR. Now, if you change it to CVR, you also want to check the data on here as well. Clicks, conversions remain. You want to listen to all the data that's on here so you know what the juicy parts are of the video. Now, if you want to take this strategy to the extra mile, then if you find a product that you want to advertise for your dropshipping store, type the name of the product into the search bar. So I've typed in flame humidifier. Everyone knows about this product. It's quite well known. And what you can do is you can look at just videos based on that product and the top performance 
performing videos. Now, why would you want to do that? If you're selling this product, you only want to watch the videos and understand and master the ones that are proven to work with the highest CTRs and the highest ZVR. So if you go through all these videos, you literally want to watch as many as you can. Now, something to take into consideration when you click on the videos is look at the likes, look at the comments and look at the shares. You want to try and watch the videos with the most likes, the most comments and the most shares. Now, this one hasn't got much engagement, so this might not be the best video to watch. So go through all the videos and try and find the one with the most likes and then watch from those videos from the least amount of video views and likes. Now, let's say hypothetically, this was the best performing video. Let's watch it together. You guys can see it shows a video of it being used on a desk while somebody's working or playing games. And it says, hands down, the best thing I bought for my gaming setup. So that's what they've done. And if we play the video, it's 30 seconds long, meaning that that's how long the video is playing for. It also says it looks like a fire, but doesn't burn and smells so good. So it shows you the effect. It shows you somebody putting their hand through it in POV format. It says, open it up. And then it shows it opening it up and then it shows you how it works. Add some water. So it's a demonstrational video as well. And it says, add your favorite perfume to make it smell really nice and then enjoy. So that's the video. And you can see here, this is where the highest CTR is. And we can go through all of these other metrics and see what's making it powerful. What you also want to take into consideration with these videos is the thumbnail that they've used, the title that they've used. So you can use the similar strategy for your own ads. Now, how do you work out what their thumbnail is, what their title is? If you go back to the search library when it shows you the video before you click on it that is going to be the thumbnail so you know which thumbnail they're using now the title should be shown in the top right hand section when it shows the information about the video if it doesn't do that then it should give you a direct link to the ad so you can check the full ad out with the title and just to give you guys some context on how important this really is video styles and video formats in terms of success change all the time i see it changing on a three-month basis sometimes a two-month basis so if you're using a video strategy from let's say three months ago, four months ago, it might be an old strategy that just won't convert anymore. With the TikTok platform, people are always changing what they want to see and how they want to visualize it. So you must stay up to date. And if you don't, you're just not going to make it in this industry. Now, the next thing that I'm going to say is probably going to be one of the most controversial things that I've said it in a very, very long time. And it's that beginners should not be using Facebook ads for their drop shipping store. And even if you're doing some decent numbers on Facebook, if you're still drop shipping, you haven't private labeled, you haven't got your own brand, I'd probably stay well away from Facebook. Now, I know there's gonna be loads of people in my comment section saying, well, what should I use if I can't use Facebook? So if you can see my screen right here, you can see this is why I don't recommend Facebook right now. Ad account disabled, see details. Now, every single one of my dropshipping store ad accounts have been banned. Every single one of them, whether it be the ads that I'm running for my ad sets, or whether it be the business manager, it doesn't matter what's going on. My Facebook business managers for my dropshipping stores keep getting banned and disabled. Now, I know there's loads of ways around it. There's workarounds, but all that time and effort that you put into workarounds, other ways of fixing it, you can put that time and effort into another ad platform that's just as good as Facebook, if not better, and make way more money and be way more consistent than you are going to be with Facebook. Now, the only time that I ever use Facebook is if I've got an e-commerce brand or if I've got a private label brand. If I don't have those two things, I stay way away from Facebook because it's too much hassle and it's not worth the time and effort. Now, just to show you guys that I truly do mean what I say, this is another ad account that I've gone, but this one is for one of my e-commerce brands, not a drop shipping store, an e-commerce brand. And it's got no ad account issues. It's not banned. It's spent a modest amount of money so far this year. It's spent around about throughout all of our ad accounts that we've got on this BM, around about $300,000 and we've had no issues. Now, we've actually cut how much we use Facebook out because of the ROAS volatility as well. So we only do retargeting on Facebook now for our e-commerce brands and we don't do any cold traffic. And just to give you guys some insights, I've been using Facebook ads now for over five years and I've never seen it in a worse position than I've ever seen it today. And that's why I'm telling you to stop using it because you're going to waste dollars on there. You're going to waste time, effort, and it's also going to give you guys some serious depression because it's a pain to work with. So that brings me on to the next biggest opportunity that I see in 2023 and that is Google Ads for drop shipping stores and e-commerce stores. Now, Google Ads has been asked about for years on this channel, and I now see it as a very good valid option because Google have recently come out with an option called Google Performance Max, and this makes life really, really easy for advertisers, and it's really well optimized for ROAS and performance. And just to show you guys that I'm a man of my word, you guys can see on this account, we spent $530,000. And if I show you some of our campaigns, you guys can see here, Performance Max, 
max so you know that we're actually using these performance max campaigns so if you go to google and go to create a campaign and click sales you're going to see an option now for campaign type as performance max this is the one that i see the most potential with and this is the one that's given me five to ten ROAS every single day now for those that are going to be asking well will google ads work for my product if you can just google your product name into google and see shopping ads then yes your product would work for google because other competitors are running them on google now for those that are saying well how do i learn google ads it's very complicated we released a free course at the start of this year going over how to use google ads so i'll leave it in the description below and we're also coming out with a brand new course for 2023 on the 1st of january that will teach you how to use performance max campaigns step by step so what I'd recommend that you guys do is get used to the Google interface, do a little bit of research on Performance Max campaigns, have a little bit of a play with it, and then wait for our full tutorial to teach you how to use them. But even if you watch our old tutorial, it should give you 99% of the information that you need to be able to run these campaigns. Now, I want you guys to really listen to me now. If you're watching this video and you've never used Google Ads before, please try and use Google Performance Max campaigns and try and do retargeting through Google because it's an absolute goldmine and it's made me so much money this year. I have literally she transferred most of my Facebook ads to Google now and transferred them from Facebook to TikTok as well. And for those that are saying, well, how to do TikTok ads, I've got a full tutorial on that, which I'll leave in the description below too. So just to give you guys some clarification, I'm using Facebook ads just for retargeting, which is 20% for my e-commerce brands. And then I'm using Google ads, which would say about 50 to 60% TikTok ads. And I'm also using Snapchat ads and Pinterest ads for all of my drop shipping stores. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, it's going to take a lot of time to learn and transfer over but it is going to initially take you a bit of time to transfer it over. But once you do that, you'll be thanking me later in the comment section. So the next e-commerce trend in dropshipping trend that I want to talk about going into 2023 is the way your website is perceived by the consumer. Now, most people that are watching this are going to have websites that are not designed properly for 2023 and you're going to get crushed by your competitors. So as you guys can see on my computer screen, the product that I want to use for this example is the Shark Slides. Now, this is blown up everywhere on TikTok, on Facebook. This product's easily got over 20,000 orders on AliExpress and everyone's trying to sell this product. So if I show you the three biggest websites selling this product now, there's going to be a massive difference. So the first one is this website and they're called sharkslides.co.uk and this is what their website looks like. Now, their website overall isn't bad. It's nothing great. It's very basic and simple. You can see see here this is what they're calling it this is a price range these are their testimonials they've got the buy now button here so this is their collection page and these are the cross sales and up sales that they're going to try and get you to buy after you buy the main product and you can see the collection page doesn't look too bad and the colors are nice and branded but if we look at their product page you can see this is how the product page looks they've got the quantity breaks they've got these bundles you've got these high quality images but we can all agree that most drop shipping stores nowadays look like this they're using high quality images size guides testimonials everything is quite basic on this site so this is the next big competitor called cloudy sharks and you can see on their home page it says home of the original shark slides so they're all claiming that they're the original ones of the shark slides but let's decide that based on which one's designed better and you can see they've got some new releases so they're trying to sell you the new versions the variant based on the gradient colors the cow print ones they're trying to sell you loads of different options and then you can see here they got the size chart they got the buy now they got the shipping returns they got these trust icons they got the footer so overall it looks okay and again this looks like a typical drop shipping store at this current time so if i show you guys the last competitor for these shark slides you're going to see that the website is on a whole different level and the consumer experience is going to be unmatched compared to the other two websites so these guys are also called cloud sharks but you can see their logo looks way better than the previous logo their home page just looks amazing the way they've created this banner to make it look like a shark fin is amazing it says here pain relief made fun we've got you meet cloud sharks the shark slides made for comfort and style imagine walking on clouds so they're trying to sell you an experience they're trying to sell you an experience that is what you need to do with your website and the visuals of this website gives you that experience of what they're trying to sell you you can see the images here show you back to front of the product it says winter proof new 30 percent off buy it now the colors are really nice it says new releases so they're even trying to sell you the welly boots the thermal ones the rain rainbow ones and you can see the way they've come up with the names is really nice and unique and you can see when i put my cursor over it it changes so it's a response 
responsive website. Responsive, interactive websites work the best. And you can see here, new release, they've got the stickers, view all, and then they're showing you images of people wearing it in their pajamas, in the swimming pool, people putting their feet together with them, and then you've got these nice blank shots. So they're trying to sell you a lifestyle with these products. They're trying to sell you a lifestyle with these shark slides. And then it says why you'll love the cloud sharks, and they go over all the benefits. And then it says the cloud shark originals, and they've got the line going through the price saying it's a discount, and then they've got the reviews, and then they've also got this nice color options. They've got the drop down menu, and then they've got here skip the line with priority processing, get it sooner by paying an extra three pounds. That comes across like a solid brand. And then they've got here all the add to cart options, more details, and then they've got what customers say about them. And then they've got videos of people actually getting the product with custom packaging, which looks really, really good. And then they've got here sign up for a newsletter as well. So there's so much going on here that makes you feel like this is a legitimate brand and you're buying a lifestyle and an experience. Now, if we take a look at their collection page, you can see they're selling shark slide key rings, they're selling loads of accessibles. You can see all here, there's loads of different variants and options that they are selling. They're selling pajamas, they're selling everything. They're literally selling these shark slides as a lifestyle for pajamas, for key rings, for everything. And that's the whole point of e-commerce. You're selling a lifestyle. And then if we look at the product page of this, you can see here, the product page looks amazing. Their size guide isn't just an image of their product page. It's actually an internal link to a size guide. So when you click it, it opens up a size guide, which looks really professional. And you can see here, they broke it down for Americans, UK and Europe. And you can see here again with the colors, the colors are done perfect to match the color of the product. And you can see the images look amazing. The way they've done this, instead of it being a straight photo, it's on its tilt. That's just slightly different, which you're going to notice. Then they've got here post on TikTok and get paid. So they're also integrating an affiliate program based on TikTok because they know this is where this product is going to perform the best. They've got the drop down menus, they've got customer testimonials, and then they've got more images of the product. Now, I'm not saying that if you have a website like the other two, you can't make money, but I'm saying if you want to dominate your industry, your website should look like this and should blow your competitors out of the way. And for those that are asking, how can I design a website like this? This website was built on a Shopify theme. What they've done is they've spent time and energy into creating nice looking banners. They've gone in there and used custom code. They've gone the extra mile, which anyone can do. This isn't a custom built website. It's a Shopify theme with a bit of extra code. People going into things like Canva. Now you've got to remember if people are going to be staying at home and not going to shops because they've got no money to spend, people are going to want a nice experience whilst they're at home to get them to be motivated to buy in something. If you're on this website, you're more likely to be motivated to buy it because of the experience that you're getting. Now pretend that you're going into a shop. When you go to a low end shop compared to a high end shop, which one feels more comfier and which one feels nicer? The answer is the high end one. So it's the same experience as a website, but instead of it being in person, it's visually done. So guys, those were the biggest fundamental and economic changes that I can see happening in 2023. And these are also some of the biggest trends that I can see for beginners in 2023. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Make sure we hit 2000 likes so you can get that free Google Doc sheet. And I hope you guys implement all of what I've told you in today's video.